very exciting thing to think about. Tell me what this is. This has been handed down in your family. This is a shawl that my grandmother wore when she was a model for Winslow Homer in the painting The Lifeline. The Lifeline. And this was... It's the only color in the whole painting, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. And this, it's full of holes, but, <laughs> you know, it's, it's 112 years old, and I've kept it rolled up and uh, in plastic and tissue paper because I wanted to preserve it. What? Mildred Crocker is the granddaughter of Isa May Libby Plummer, a Proutsneck resident who was just 17 when she posed in The Lifeline, a rescue scene which Homer had witnessed in Atlantic City but painted in Maine. He climbed her this way, you know, and he poured water over her to, so he would get the shadows and her, wet her hair and everything and then he painted in the everything else was painted in after my grandmother amazing it yeah. is um a sensual painting the outlines of her body yeah. apparently oh, would, th would that beautiful. have been shocking at the time oh, think? yes that's why his face isn't showing because her knees are bared from a torn garment and it might have been pornography <laughs> in 1884 Mildred also entertains the thought that her grandmother might have been the mystery love of Winslow Homer. Legend has it that a red-haired woman who appears in many of Homer's works may have been a great love of Homer's. That love is thought to have been ultimately unrequited since she abruptly disappears from his paintings. So it might have been your grandmother who rejected Winslow Homer. Well, my grandmother was a redhead and it is rumored that he was in love with a redhead. But we never know. For Mildred, the painting is a source of great pride, which was recently strengthened when she saw it for the first time at the Museum of Fine Arts. We didn't know that that painting was going to be there because it's usually in the Philadelphia Museum. And when I saw it, oh, I said to my brother, I said, that's our grandmother. She was living, living flesh when she posed for this picture. <laughs>